Welcome back to this video tutorial on how to design sewer pipes or sewer networks with Civil Designer. As exciting as the previous videos were, you will be amazed at what we are going to do now. Now for those of you who have ever done a sewer design by hand, prepare to have your socks knocked off. Okay, so in the previous video we went ahead and we extracted sewer design, sorry, sewer pipes from CAD entities um, and we had the network pop up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick vertical alignment using Civil Designer's preset parameters. We're not going to go into depth and detail about what they are and where they come from. That we will cover in a different session. We're just going to go ahead now and get started and show you what the program does and how it, which buttons to push in order to do it. Good. So first of all, I just want to go ahead and check some settings. I'm going to choose Edit design parameters and here I can see that there are some bits of information here okay never mind that it's too boring for now let's go ahead and make our first change which is the link tables name sizes if you see X here that means that this 110 pipe is selected who knows why they chose it X and not a tick we will never know anyway if I deselect it it means that this 110 pipe won't be used in my analysis in my design so these ones that are, are marked are the pipe sizes that are available. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm now going to run an analysis. Now this analysis is purely going to be based on minimum cover between the ground and the pipe at the manholes. So we're not going to have any flows and we're not going to have any earth connections displayed in this analysis. But just watch how we do it. So we're going to go to analysis, select network. And here we are going to specify a whole bunch of factors, which I'm sure you know everything about. But if you're not sure at any stage, just push F1 and you'll get a dialog box which will display everything, will display information about everything you're dealing with on any given page. Very useful bit of information that. Right, so next, I want to analyze all the nodes, all the manholes, finish. There goes the analysis and this page that pops up, I tend to forget about it sometimes. It's giving me the results, but once you have flows and things put into the software, you can come here and actually check in flows at various nodes, flows in the pipes, overflows, node layout, link layout, etc. So lots of information. Let's go back here. Let's have a quick look. If I go to, oh, for goodness sake, really? Okay, inflow. Total points. Can I edit this? Can I put something in here? No, I can't. No, I can't. But I can write all of this to a CSV file if I right click, write CSV file. So that's something for later. Good. Anyway, so I've done the analysis. I want to check if there were any errors. Analysis, error checking. No errors were found. That's because I'm very skilled at what I'm doing, as are you, I'm sure. So now we're going to go ahead and look at the vertical alignments under tools vertical alignment notice what pops up is actually my sewer long section for sewer subnetwork one branch one i'm going to look at branch three just to make it a bit different manual 15 to manual four with manual 14 and 13 in between and here you can see that the sewer pipe has been designed and that there is certain manholes in place if i choose the select tool which is now not visible where are these guys? Let me pull this across a bit. The select tool. Then I can click at this point. Let me make this a bit smaller. Bring this back. And you can see here, if I select this manual, it gives me the invert level, the cover level, as well as the depth. Very important. And here's some information at the bottom here about the link name, the link size, and the manual names. So very, very important. Now, let's say I'm not happy with this alignment. Let's say for argument's sake. I do have the option here where I can select the move alignment point and I could hypothetically make this sewer slightly deeper, just like that. If I say uh, save, it will accept those changes. Let me go ahead and close this. Save modified long sections, I'm going to say no at this stage. Good, so that's what I wanted to show you in this short video tutorial. Have fun aligning your sewers, doing the vertical alignment and the horizontal alignment. In our next video tutorial, which will be the next section, I'll show you how to put in earth connections 
and how to analyze the system with the earth connections and make adjustments to the vertical alignment. Thank you so much.